I've been able to make one of the base so I will be making this in this video so I'm going to be using 10 strands of twine thread I'll be using 10 strands so you can start from anywhere Oops. so you make Make a slip and continue making your single crochet. And don't forget for you getting this base, you have to try the step first you have to try it if you don't try there's no how you are going to get it with my explanation so you keep doing this can you see what the way i am doing it so you keep doing it round so don't let me waste your space using keep them I mean, by doing this continuously so you keep doing it the way you see Oh, I mean the way I'm doing it, you keep doing it that way round. So when you get to these points you will have to cut it but if you are buying your base you know sometimes you may not have time to be um doing it the way i taught you how to make this base you might not have time to do it you might just thought of buying it so i would advise that you don't cut the one you buy you understand so this the reason why i cut it is because this thing will be disturbing your design you understand so if you not you will not like it by the time we finish and i don't want to risk it i would have shown you that our back can come out now that is why i cut small parts i mean this corner you just have to cut it don't forget this the way i'm showing you this video if you don't remember the way I explain it, you can come back and wash it again. You understand? keep doing it so you make two in the corner of the, the hole in the corner you make two two single crochet in each a small portion of it can you see shouldn't be too much just small portion part of it so i'm going to make another one Mm 
Now we are done. So all we need to do now is to make this base, the side base of this bag around it. So I will making the side base with ten strands as well. Still the same size of strands. So I'll be making ten or whatever size you want to make so we're making one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let me make it soft eleven so, so let us make it twelve base. I mean twelve um chains, but eleven single crochet. So I'll be making eleven single crochet, of which is going to be. Let me make one more chain to make it a thing. So I will be. Um, making the bottom can you see the way I want to do it instead of me inserting my needle here but no I will insert it from the loop under the V shape I hope you can see this loop where is I'm sorry I want to show you the loop let me use some like this this is a loop there is a loop here the same loop is there can you see the loop below below the V so is where I am going to be making my single crochet so one then I'm making another one from another loop below can you see So 
so this is all then three Don't forget I made 13 chains, so I use it to make
Sorry, we keep doing it. Round. So I am placing the side base of the bag. So you can see each stripe that I made there is I'm counting by stripes as you can see. So I'm counting 14 stripes. So which contains 28 single crochet by rows. 28 uh, rows of single crochet. So the length of the bag is I mean the wideness of the bag is 20 is contain 14 um, stripes of the side base of the bag you understand so now i'm pl I'm placing it by the other side which is the breadth part of the uh, front base so it's contained 12 stripes you understand 12 stripes of the bag so i've counted it i counted 12 stripes of the stitch you understand so so the stripes the 12 stripes contain 24 rows of single crochet you understand so and the other part which is the other bright side of the bag so which means I'm going to be making 12 stripes in the other side and 12 stripes in the other side and the bottom base which is 14 stripes so calculating them together like 12 plus 12 stripes that is 24 stripes and the bottom base which is 14 that is 38 stripes so, so I am going to be making 38 stripes of single crochet stitch. You understand? I mean, 38 stitch. So that 38 stitch contains, um, or you, I mean, contains 76 rows of single crochet. So it, so I used. So now I am. So I'm making continue the process. So. You have to understand the way I made it. If you don't get it, please watch the video again. Do you understand? Take a good look at this pattern. You know, we are make this is two single crochet in a row, um, in in two rows. You understand? So we have um two rows of single crochet, two rows of single crochet. So I am going to be counting them as one. You understand? So though I so you know i remember that i said that the particular this is a triangle rectangular um shape of of the bag of the base bag so the side of this place is 12 of the stitch that you're seeing here and that 12 is like uh, 24 rows so then this part of it is also 12 of it like this is 12 a number so we on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so then the part of this two is 12 of it and this particular um, side is also 14 so counting all this all the all of them everyone I mean counting them together we have 12 12 and 14 that is 12 12 that is 24 then plus 14 that is um 38 so then we have 38 of this stitch we have 38 of this stitch remember it is not 38 um, single crochet in the wall you understand so i am calculating it based on this stitch do you understand so and this uh, one of this and this stitch contains two rows of single crochet two rows of single crochet so instead of me saying 38 um rows of single crochet i will rather say um no, 38 plus 38 that is um that is 76 you understand let's say we have 76 rows of single crochet but based on this stitch i'm going to say 38 rows of single crochet so now what we're going to do is now that we have um so i will use i will need to use this and this or uh, what is it called pin so all the 
I'm, I'm going to use it to tack the 12 stitch of this um, base 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12. Can you see? So I'm going to use then leave it there. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm going to start this. So the remaining part of it is 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then 12. So we are done. So all we need to do is is just to indicate because we are not doing the so let me complete this. I'm going to use my so you make a stitch. Just to cut it. So then you also need your tape strip thing. So you need your tape strip thing. So this is your tape strip thing. You can get any size. So that is why you need um you need let me show you the needle I'm using the question hook you need question hook like this for even if you want to learn how to make herring whatever I will suggest you get this kind of um set of hooks you understand? It's crochet and kit. I will call it crochet, crochet kits. So you get it. So it's easy. You can find it on Jumia if you don't know how to get it. And if you still don't know how to get it, I can get it for you. So then I'm going to be merging two yarn, two strands of yarn together. This time around, we are going to be joining the base together so So the next thing you will be doing is determine the front part of it, determine the front part of your back. So which one would you like to use as the inside and as the outside? So I would prefer this ending, this ending to be the outer part, while this particular face 
should be uh, the inner parts so in this tutorial I will teach you how to well, let me teach you in another way so then you begin to fix things you start from this you know you have to um, single pressure in the, in this hole so you pick this place can you see this is the center you begin with it this way because oh, I don't want the bottom I mean the tail of the um of the yarn i mean of this sorry but i don't want this detail of this um this stripping to to show in my work so if it has to show it should be inside it should be the inner part so i'm going to be can you see so i've shown you the I am inserting my yarn then then can you see you will repeat so that it will be fine So I am inserting it in the nest. Can you see? I hope you see it. You have to be careful with the way. So I'm going to sh well, I'm going to repeat it again so that it will be firm. I'm, I'm repeating the same spot I inserted it. So then I will continue. You see the same spots. So then I will continue. So then I will hmm. then the next one the next one is into the nest. Can you see where I am inserting my needle? Please if you don't get how I'm doing it whenever you start yours, please go back to the video. You understand? So You will need to manipulate it till you get. Just let me show you one more time. Look at it. I have already inserted my needle here. Then I will bring it out from the same spot. Then you will insert it from behind of this. V Can you see then make sure you or let me explain to you so after you've inserted it from the eye of this V you know 
this is our uh, a stage of where we are going to be carving it so then you will still have to bring out your needle you don't need to insert it from here anymore so just do like this that's all then we have start beginning to um make the bottom base so i'm going to insert it let me show you one more time i'm just showing you the way i am inserting my tape strip pen how I'm, I'm stitching it together so into another v sorry so into another v If you don't get it, please lose it and do it again. Okay, so I will just insert it into another V. Okay, you see, I'm inserting it together into another V, this base. Then into the same V, I move it from, I'm still have to stitch it again. So you will continue doing it round. Let me do it one more time. So into another V. And you see, then I will insert my needle into the same V. Make sure it is firm. Now I've been able to complete the it, so all I have to do now is to look at, I mean, make the top as in the cover for it. So there are some crochet that don't make it. Some make in the inner part of it. They make inside the, the inside and they tie it. But according to me, I think I need to crochet the top. You understand I need to crochet the top so I need to crochet the top so let me just do that with 13 with the length of this base side the side base of the bag so I think the side base of the bag is 13 single crochet so I'm going to make 13 chains or 14 chains One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have to make fourteen chain, then I'm going to be.
making uh, I'm making this first so I'll be making this is a V the front part of it so I am going to turn it to the other side so I'll be crocheting from the loop behind it can you see the loop so I'll be crocheting from that and that is how I begin the side base as well so in case you don't remember so that is how you will begin I mean after making your chain for this bag that is how you'll be doing it so so yeah you make for I mean 13 single pressure stood We keep doing that. So this is the last one. So then you make. So can you see? So I will do like three rows or oh, let me make it two stripes. Can I make it two stripes or three stripes? I think I need to make it two stripes. I'm able to make two stripes so then that, that is four um, single crochet row do I mean four rows of single crochet so now it's 13 so I think I need to make five five one let me show you um, because I want to create this I want to make sure there is space at the center in order to make my to stitch the zip into it so one two three four then five can you see that so because it is 13 single crochet that i made so i decided to make five single crochet here and i'm going to be making one two three four five single crochet so the center will be for the zip so um i will you see the way i'm going to be making it just follow this step so i'm going to make like 14 stitch i mean 14 stripes of single crochet 14 stripes just like how i made 14 stripes 14 stripes for the bay i mean to measure the base, so it's going to apply the same method is going to be applying here. Yeah. The same method is going to be applied here. So I'm going to make 14 stripes. So now, can you see it? So I'm going to make 14 stri and stripe. And um, what else 14 stripe means is 28 single crochet. 
28 single crochet loops. So We need to make a uh, 14 stripe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I am going to cut it so that I will start. That's another so I'm going to count three, you know, it is 13 single crochet. So I've made five out of it, so I'm going to count one, two, three. So I'll start in the fourth loop. So I am going to make another five single crochet. I keep doing this. Make sure there is no mistake. I started from here, from the back, from the in inner um, side of it. You understand? So I started the. This is where I'm going to use as the outer part of it. So I started from the inner part. So that it's the reason why I do that is because of the way I want it to look. I want it to moderate with this to align together in the same design. You understand? 
so so that they will come into the same stripe but when you make that mistake you have to lose it and do it appropriately so to, then you keep doing this just like the other side just like this place you're going to continue i'm going to make 14 stripes just like the one i did earlier So keep doing it. Keep doing fourteen stripes. So this is where our oh yeah, I'll show you when I'm done. I'm able to make fourteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I am going to make like four chains. I'm going to make like four chains. One, one, two, three. So this four chain, I'm going to cut it. With I'm going to make a long tail. So I want to tie. Just watch the way I'm going to do it. Let me set this aside. Then I'm going to try and knit together. Okay. So, so now I'm going to make the two stripes that I started with here. So I am going to start from the behind, from the behind because I ended from the frontal parts. 
you can see so I this is how I ended it so I'm going to start begin from the behind so that it will look the same align so I'm going to make that thin single crochet for one two three four then five so I am going to make So then I will begin for five, six, sorry, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, then thirteen. So I have made one and I will make the two stripes continuously like that. So don't let me waste your space. So I've been able to make it, then I will have to cut it. So Because this particular place is our front part, as in the front part of it. So I will not tie here. I mean, I'm not going to burn anything here. So I can always bring it all this tail out. You understand? So that it will not reflect. I don't want any burning stuff to reflect in my job. So we have to do it this way. So, and the same thing applies to this place. Okay, so I'm going to do this one too, like that. So okay, so now it's just for me to show you the oh. Uh, this is um zip and it is called 
golden teeth because it's black color with gold teeth. You understand? This is what they call it teeth. In case you want to buy it in the market, it's also sold from um it's all you can get them emoji. So it's called black zip with gold teeth. Is it zip? Yes, it's zip. So I'm going to use laces like this. So this is the length of which I'm going to be using. So I'm going to tuck. But before anything, I'm going to affix my um affix. So can you see? Then when you reach the inside, you will spread. The mouth and then to can you see? see? Can you see? So you get all of your needle. You don't know you can use any one, you can make use of your tape spray pin or your knit um what is it called? Needle. So this is this three pin from the crochet sets from the crochet sets. So I think I need a long or uh, I need a longer one. Sorry, so I've gotten one. You can use your, you can use this or the other um, needle like this one. Now this one doesn't come along with it. I just put them inside. Whenever I need it, I'll just pick them there. I want to show you the one you can use instead of tape stripping. This is needle. This is the needle I'm talking about. Um, So I hope you get that now. So I don't need it for now. So.
And if you want to ask me why did I use um, this spray paint, the reason why I like using this spray, this spray paint is because um, it doesn't make my job to look rough. You understand? So it will moderate. But if I use the needle itself, it's going to, you know, it's, it has sharpened my out. And before you know it, my job will be so it will look somehow rough and it will be you know bringing out a kind of shape that i might not like so but the tripping we just can you see how straight it is Yes, monitor the one at the back. You understand? Maybe you are on the same track with the first leather straight. You understand? So So you continue looking at this way. Make sure as you are inserting your or this repaint, stitching the this thing together, the zip together with the top. Make sure you know where or uh, you can make the back of it. I mean the back stitch to be large. Why the front stitch? which is going to appear to all, to your customer not to be visible as in you don't let any of your stitch to be visible look at this now instead of me giving it a, like this i don't want it to be showing like this you understand so i will have to make sure i, I dig in my needle into the next loop you understand so i'm using the next loop to save the stitch from showing you understand so that is how you can make the back part of it to be large to be of large stitch you can see I touch oil I touch the oil and I try this I don't know why this thing is. So, we keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? I think I'm done.
able to complete it. So the last one that we're doing. All we do now is to attach them together. So I'm going to sew it together. And before that, you have to determine the front base. I think I prefer using the special front base. So I'm going to need make another seal. I need four strands to make another seal. Four strands to make um, four strands of so my yarn. So I want this space to be my front base. So let me adjust the camera. Coming. So I'm going to So, so I will have to start because I want it to be at the center. So I will have to start from here. Let me And one thing about crochet is that if you don't practice it the way you see it, as in, even if you don't get it the way you see it, but once you take, when, once you started doing it, as in, once you started practicing it, you will understand the way you see it. So crochet is not by seeing, watching a video and let it go like that. You have to make sure you practice it so that you can be able to get the image of what you have what you are about to do you understand or what you have seen with your naked eyes so the way i am um, stitching it together 
is the way you should stitch it together but if you have another way of doing it that it will look nice you know creativity is is not something that you think uh, it's, you can't stop by one man's uh, knowledge you understand so it is always um is let's say it's dynamic it's versatile so it's dynamic so you can't you can't finish somehow So just like this, that is the way, this, this method of stitching is where I stitch the side base together with the front and back base, so you understand. So make sure you stitch it just nice, just to, you know, maintain this, this, just to maintain it. So the same portion you bring it out from the same V you insert just now is the, is the same stitch. I mean, is the same stitch. I mean, should I say the same look that you will, or um, you know, we not. You understand so just try to see how i'm doing it and make sure you do yours just exactly the way i'm doing it or if you think your own method might be nice i am doing it just to make it looks like i crocheted it you understand so that is why i prefer doing it this way you understand so just And another thing I want to explain to you is about this front base. You know, the size of this inner part, let's say the hole I made, my yours might be longer, depending on your design. You understand? What you see here is just how to make this. And what you'll be making is how you can make your own design perfect. You understand? And how you can create your design. Making bag is one, you will start... You'll be mentored and another way around is how you are going to go about your creativity. You understand? So just try as much as possible, you know, to be more creative in your ways. Whatever that you see, you should be able to be doing it all by yourself, even without anybody teaching you. Even if it has to do with something that uh, you can't do by yourself, you should try as much as possible to find your way by doing it correct perfectly so this way i'm going to do it throughout by now you should be able to master how i stitch it now stitch it this way throughout so the more the, what i'll be showing you now is the completion get you understand i've ended here so i've ended this part so what I will be doing next is um I'm going to be stitching this place together. to stitch this see it's not going to show at all that uh, you just you stitch you understand so that is why I prefer this method of stitching So 
So I'll be stitching this particular place together. Oh, I'm just looking at I'm going to do it. Okay, let me just stitch it this way. stitching okay can you see so I'm I think I will need to be stitching from here this place this tribe and I know this is one two so from the ending of this tribe I'll be stitching this together with it so that it is going to correlate so I'll be making it together. No, making bag is not as easy as I think. But
नहीं है So the one I'll be doing now um, is the completion of it. The complete part of it. So I'm going to do it round. So the next one is I'll fix this in. So I want to make the handle. So I fixed it and I, I missed in the middle of this. So I'm going to target the same place I fixed it here. And I think I fixed it here on the other hand. So, I'm going to make it uh, extend. So, the next thing is the handle. So, how are you going to fix in the handle? So, <laughs> so I am going to be leading. I should be you can use your leg if you don't um you can always use your leg to wheel your thumb the thumb of your leg so i would advise you use one as a setter but if you think that using um a strand is too slow for you you can use like 10 strands i'm going to be using 10 strands but i'm using a strand for an explain for an uh, for illustration so you know this is twine thread and it is that is how twine thread oh no so it's not like t-shirt yarn and i will not lie to you i have seen customers that complain about t-shirt yarn it is not always or oh, it's always dirty after usage, after some time, it's always that you can try to measure your handle. So I think the one I'm doing here is just 10, 10, 10, uh, 10 centimeters long. Right, let me measure it. Okay, it's like it's 13.5 centimeter long. It's 13.5. It's 13.5 centimeter long. Can you see? So you can use a strand. So and make sure that while using um, a strand to reel, this um tail, the tail in the first layer. I mean in the, in the first layer, please keep it aside. You understand? It's very important because. You are going to knot it together so that it will not lose it. It will not be losing. So you're going to reveal as much as you want. You understand? So I'll be revealing with this strand. With a strand. Can you see? So don't forget to set the first detail aside so you keep revealing. And so with this space is not enough for me to show you how 
you can use your uh, the thumb of your leg to do it so you can keep doing this till it is sufficient enough you understand so you keep doing it so i'll be showing the finishing part of it so i've been able to view i use my leg to view with some strands of yarn so i want to cut it i want to cut thank you i'm able to make some strands of yarn this i'm going to cut it i have to be careful with this yarn Um, so I have been able to cut it and reel it, so then we begin to twist. So all this area with parts, we are going to manipulate them. Like we are burning them and they placing them on Just manipulate them with files.
so. Ich gehe gerne dann.